The aim of this presentation is to explain what will happen if a year group has to self-isolate at home for 14 days. So what are we going to cover? We're just going to recap what we mean by self-isolation and then we're going to look at what we're calling your home learn learning timetable. What is it? When will it start? And how will it work? So what do we mean by self-isolation? Well, if you have to self-isolate, that means you must stay at home for a specified period of time. There are three reasons why your pupil would have to self-isolate. The first is if you've shown symptoms of COVID and are awaiting test results. Typically, that would be for two or three days, you'd have to stay at home till the test results are received. The second reason is if you have tested positive for COVID or someone you live with has tested positive. In this case, you will have to stay at home for 14 days. The third reason is if a member of your year group has tested positive. And in this case, the whole year group would stay at home for 14 days. So how will you learn if you're self-isolating at home? Well, if you're self-isolating whilst waiting for test results, then that's just like a normal absence and you should carry on with any homework tasks as normal. If you're self-isolating because you've tested positive or someone in your home has, then subject activities and resources will be posted on your Google Classroom. Your subject teacher will guide you to these activities. And as a guide, you should follow your normal timetable as how to manage your time at home during this period. The third reason, which means you're self-isolating at home for 14 days as a whole year group, means that in this case, you will switch to what will be your home learning timetable. So what is your home learning timetable? Well, it'll be just like your normal timetable. It will match it, it will match it exactly. Your lessons will take place at the same time as if you're in school. So if you had maths at 8.40, period one on a Monday, then it will be at 8 for lesson one will begin at 8 40 on your sh on your home learning timetable lesson four will begin at 10 past one in the afternoon just as if you were in school however the key difference is that there will be three different types of lesson there will be live lessons webinars or self-study periods so what do we mean by a live lesson well during a live lesson you will log onto a computer and join a Google Meet, a bit like a Zoom call. And that will be led by your teacher. These lessons will be interactive and allow your teacher to ask you questions and also give you the opportunity to ask your teacher questions. The second type of lesson is a webinar. A webinar will be a short video or an explanation of a new topic or concept. You will play the webinar, which can be accessed again from Google Classroom. And during the webinar, there'll be opportunities for you to take notes and possibly answer written questions. The third type of lesson is a self-study period. And during these lessons, you should work on your own independently on any tasks that your teacher has set. The details of this work will be communicated to you via your Google Classroom pages for each subject. So what will your home learning timetable look like? So let's imagine you're in 7H. The timetable, as you can split, see, is split into live lessons, webinars and self-study periods. So period one on Monday of week A, there's a maths lesson, but this is a live maths lesson. So you would have to join the Google Meet via your Google Classroom. Period two is an English webinar. Again, this can be accessed via your Google Classroom. Period three is self-study science. So during this time, you should get on with any activities that your teacher has set for you in science. And similarly, period four, which is a self-study period for history. Period five on Monday of week A is a live Welsh lesson. And again, you should join the lesson via the Google Meet link in Google Classroom. You'll also notice on, that on Wednesday, there's a registration period. So every Wednesday, there will be a registration period just like a live lesson. So if you're in year seven, eight or nine, your form teacher will set up a Google Meet 
for that registration period on a Wednesday and you will join it at your usual time of 12.35. The year 10 and 11 registration will take place at 12 o'clock on a Wednesday and again you should join that session just as you would for a live lesson. So how will the home learning timetable work? Well, if your year group goes into self-isolation, the timetable will begin 24 hours after your year group has begun to self-isolate. So this means that if you begin self-isolation on a Tuesday, the timetable will begin on Thursday of the same week. At the end of this session, your teacher will give you a hard copy, a paper copy of your home learning timetable for your form group. You should stick this in the back of your planner so that you can refer to it should you have to self-isolate at home as a year group for the 14 days. That's the end of the presentation. If you have any questions, please ask your teacher when we've finished. Thank you for listening. Thank you.